Yo, what's going on YouTube? Today I have the most meta class right now in ranked play. There is no better class than this. This is the only class you need to rock unless you prefer the feel of the Bruin more or the sniper support NCW over the HRM, maybe the Core 45. But as a whole and a damage perspective, this is the fastest killing class right now for ranked play, especially on Resurgence. So we're going to break over the builds, and we want to uh, go over the recoil patterns as well. So on the SOA Subverter, the Cassis Break L, those are 90 long barrel. I use the Jack Glassless Optic. The Corio Eagle Eye 2.5 Optic is just as good. We'll use that as well when we go over recoil patterns. Uh, Bruin Heavy Support Under Barrel with a 50 round doink on the bottom of it. But for the HRM, we got the Zen 35 Compensator, the DR6 Hand Stop. Uh, the 9mm high grain rounds, the 50 round drum with the folding stock. This class is so ridiculous. Let's bring it into the firing range. Let's break it down. Alright, first and foremost, I know in last video you all said y'all couldn't hear me over the gunshots. So we're actually going to fix that right now. Okay, here we go. So, aiming down sights. I'm going to aim at this. I'm not going to touch the joystick. We're just going to shoot shots we're not going to do anything but let these bullets fly uh see what the recoil pattern does all right well off of the board the board is how i kind of gauge uh recoil if you're new to the channel it's definitely off the board we ended somewhere up here uh mostly vertical there's a little bit of horizontal in the mix but for the most part this gun is a super laser beam uh, there is bloom in this game. Recoil patterns are not the same every time. So we're going to shoot one more to get an idea. See, this one definitely had more of a straight line curve. Rather, this one kind of goes in curves and then back around. This one's kind of more straight line. Regardless, we know that the first few shots on this gun need to go down and to the right and then to the left and then to the right. Nothing too crazy. Uh, it should look something like this when you kind of have it mastered. So you can have the most ridiculous spray pattern. Then I was like, you have a Quona, you have a Quona. That's all you need right there. You just need to look at your recoil patterns and reverse that spread. Uh, that's for the SOA. This is going to be the HRM. We're going to aim at the bottom, let it rip. All right, this one gets kind of crazy. Let's, let's start it to the right so we get the bulk of it kind of in the middle. All right, and again, this is two totally different patterns. Look, up to the left a little bit, up, and then it kind of is straight heavy left. I swear this one just kind of went up left and then simmered out. The biggest thing you need to know with the HRM, if you notice your first 12 to 13 shots, don't touch. The bullet holes barely, th maybe here you get a couple, but most of the time they're not going to touch until you get up into the mid area, like right here. All of these are obviously touching. That's because the recoil becomes tighter. Uh, what we need to know here is we're pulling down to the right. Once you start to get off target, we're going straight down. So we go down to the right, and then we go straight down to kind of give us this generalized recoil spray here as well. Tight enough. It's up close. So when we're shooting at targets, oh, we got to get our plates on. Dummy plates, three plates. Uh, we've kind of been over like damage profiles with these guns. Obviously, if we use our rotational aim assist and we shoot at this, we're going to absolutely laser beam uh, the targets that we need to laser. At the far range, it's not even really worth trying to display this thing at range. I mean, you can kill, but it takes a lot of shots. It's not that accurate. Uh, but up close, dude, you run up, get a couple hit fire shots off from an ADS. This thing is money for that. Uh, probably my favorite SMG we've had in this game so far in terms of feel. And then the SOA Subverter, absolute laser beam. Uh, if you are lasering with this class, I don't know uh, what to tell you because this is definitely one of the most, I mean, look at that pattern. This is one of the most accurate ARs we've had in like a really long time. It's kind of ridiculous how tight you can keep that recoil pattern. Um, so that should translate to these targets, no problem. Uh, I don't think people understand how accurate this gun actually is if you just learn the patterns. Um, it's pretty ridiculous. Uh, the other thing I was talking about with this gun is the Corio Eagle Eye 25 Optic. Uh, we're going to slap that Corio Eagle Eye 25 Optic on right now so you can get an idea of uh, recoil with that. We're going to drop back into here. 
uh, customizations. Here we go. Two five optics, Corio Eagle Eye right here. Bring it into the firing range so you can get an idea. Uh, the recoil pattern really doesn't change it. I mean, it has more balance, but nothing too crazy. The only thing you'll notice is the bend's a little more abrupt rather than this one being slower. Uh, but when you look at it on targets, again, if you can just control your recoil, it's not too crazy. The farther the target's going to look like it has a lot more balance. But if you strafe your shots left to right, you shouldn't really worry about that. Use that rotational aim assist to your advantage on those farther shots. Uh, and you should kind of balance out a little bit better. Uh, makes you harder to hit and you're hitting your shots a little bit more. But gang, this is it. This is absolute meta right now. There is no debate whatsoever on what's absolute meta after seeing these two classes. If you're new to the channel, enjoy the content, man. Hit that sub button. Press that like button and I will catch you all tomorrow for an absolute key secret. Let's get a game.